morning dear students welcome to digital classes uh, uh hope so you are fine and taking due care of yourself dear students uh, as you know that we have started our unit 7 that is p block elements today i'm going to first recapitulate that whatever we have done or what we are going to do in a flow chart manner after that then we are going to start today's topic okay so so dear students as you can see here that uh, we have started our topic p-block elements if I will say something about p-block elements uh, it is generally representing the group number 13 to group number 18 in which group number 13 and 14 already we have done in plus one class so this is we are not doing group number 15 16 17 and 18 we will do this year in which group number 15 there is a nitrogen family which is known as uh, nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth and in oxygen family we will find out oxygen sulfur selenium telenium and polonium then 17 family is halogen group fluorine chlorine bromine iodine acetine and 18 group is novel gas helium neon argon krypton xenon and radon okay so but most important thing in this unit most important thing in this chapter is that is the important compounds of suppose this family group 15 important families of group 16 important compounds of group 17 and group 18 whereas this family is known as nicogen and this family is known as chalcogen whereas you know this is halogen and inert gas okay so in this if i will say nicogen family especially we are going to do the compounds important compounds of nitrogen and phosphorus only we are doing nitrogen and phosphorus in which we will do dinitrogen ammonia HNO3 oxides of nitrogen. Let me bring it into it closer. So, from phosphorus, we are going to do allotropes of phosphorus. There is white phosphorus, black phosphorus, and red phosphorus. Phosphine, PCL3, PCL5, oxo acid of phosphorus. Then, from chalcogen, we will do the important compounds of oxygen and sulfur only. In which dioxygen, ozone, oxides, normal oxide we will do. In which we are doing acidic oxides, neutral oxide and basic oxides. Sulfur family, we are doing allotropes of sulfur, sulfur dioxide, H2SO4, which is manufacturing of H2SO4 we will do. Oxo acid of sulfur. Okay. Then from this halogen family, we are going to talk about the interhalogen only. And from the uh, noble gases, we are going to do xenon compounds only. Okay. But the most important thing, that is the topics which uh, is maximum question is coming in exam that is uh, manufacturing type question so basically we have manufacturing of NH3 which is called Haber process manufacturing of HNO3 which is called Ostwald process and manufacturing of H2S4 which is called contact process so dear students when you are going to prepare yourself so don't forget to prepare the manufacturing of NH3, HNO3 and H2S4 second reasoning type questions are coming and uh, one uh, structure type questions are coming structure of NH3, HNO3, PCS, PH3, PCL3, PCL5 or resonance of O3, SO2 and the structure of oxo acid, oxo acid of sulfur, oxo acid of phosphorus. From here also so many questions are coming but most important is the compound of xenon, the compound of xenon, structure of compound of xenon. Okay, so this was the small uh, that flow chart diagram, I can say the road map what we are what we have done and what we are going to do so today's most important that focus is uh, the we are going to do that is this part we are going to do that is phosphorus compound already we have done nitrogen compound now today we are going to do phosphorus compound so let's start that we so we are talking about phosphorus now phosphorus is the second most important element in nitrogen group it is existing in three allotropic form white red and black its atomic number is 15 and atomic mass is 31 and this is the atomic structure of phosphorus where you can see 2 electron is in K shell, 8 electron in L shell and 5 electron is there in L shell. Okay, So if we will talk about the allotrop, allotropic form of phosphorus, there is white, red and black color, white phosphorus burn in air with faint green glow and its, in, its phenomenon is called chemiluminescence chemiluminescence in which phosphorus is burning in the presence of oxygen and give p4o10 we are going to study it in 
detail in future slides so let's understand first what is the basic free difference between the allotropes of phosphorus so first on the basis of color white phosphorus is white in color but yellow on exposure red is dark red and black is in black color state it is baxi solid in state it is brittle powder it is crystalline shape stability it is less stable it is more stable it is most stable chemical reactivity it is very reactive it is less reactive it is least reactive so you can compare now all the three different allotropes of phosphorus on the basis of color state stability and chemical reactivity now in in the next slide we will get more information about the allotrope of phosphorus uh, dear students just pay attention on these slides and just read this elemental phosphorus can exist in several allotropes it is the most common of which white and red solids solid violet and black allotropes are also known gases phosphorus are exist as a disulfurous uh, diphosphorus and atomic phosphorus form okay so basically what we studied the allotropes are present in our surrounding or in our nature in white black red violet and any other form but most important is white and red okay so this is the uh, in general information about allotropes now if we will talk about the this phosphorus so you can see the phosphorus are two it is showing two major allotropes of phosphorus that is white phosphorus p4 which is soft and waxy soft and waxy underline and so reactive with air that is stored under water it can ignite ignite spontaneously in air whereas second red phosphorus it is network solid which is formed when white phosphorus is heated 200 to 400 degrees celsius away from the air whereas third is black phosphorus and violet phosphorus which is also exist they are both network solids so we are basically doing phosphorus and we studied that there are basically three allotropes of phosphorus once again number one white number two red and number three black phosphorus and what is the general uh, differences that we have already done general differences we are doing on the basis of that state color and this and that okay so if we will talk about structure of allotrope of phosphorus so here also you need to take care the structure is basically the white phosphorus structure is very simple it is a uh, uh, this is the shape and red phosphorus is like a linear whereas we will study white phosphorus is more reactive than red phosphorus because it has monomeric tetrahedral structure this is monomeric tetrahedral structure only whereas the uh, red phosphorus it is a long chain of red uh, long chain of phosphorus if we will talk about the black phosphorus it will show the network of phosphorus this is the black phosphorus and how to prepare the red phosphorus black phosphorus it can be prepared from white phosphorus very simple like when you are going to burn any uh, wheat flour you know its color is becoming first red then its be color is becoming black okay the same way when we are going to increase the temperature we are going to heat the white phosphorus at 280 degree celsius it is becoming red and after one or two weeks uh, when its temperature is increasing 550 degree celsius it is converting into violet phosphorus if direct at very high pressure 12000 bar pressure if we are going to heat the white phosphorus it will directly convert into black phosphorus so dear students it mean that the conclusion is there all type of phosphorus has prepared is prepared from basically white phosphorus okay so white phosphorus is the origin of red black and violet phosphorus so next what is the basic difference between the red and white phosphorus this question can be asked so many time in exam so first thing on the basis of definition red phosphorus is an allotropic of phosphorus that has a dark red color white phosphorus is an allotropic of phosphorus that exists as a translucent uh, baxi solid if chemical structure red phosphorus exists polymeric network white phosphorus exists a p4 network if appearance red phosphorus appear dark red color and white phosphorus appear red or sorry white or yellow when exposed in light toxicity we will say red phosphorus is non toxic whereas white phosphorus is very much toxic phosphorescence we will say red phosphorus is non -phos non phosphorescence whereas white phosphorus is phos phosphorescence uh, ignition if we will take red phosphorus ignite in air at temperature to 40 degrees celsius whereas white phosphorus ignite at 50 degrees celsius application this is the produced by heat treated 
white phosphorus this is produced by heating phosphorus rock in electric or fuel fire this is general uh, difference between red and white phosphorus you pause the video and just learn this question next is properties of allotropes basically uh, if we will talk about white phosphorus white phosphorus get readily oxidized in air it react with hot concentrated NaOH to convert into phosphine and it combines with chlorine to form penta uh, phospho uh, trichloride and phospho pentachloride it burn brightly in air produced dense white all information is i tried my best to bring all the information in these slides so these slides are very important just pause read yourself listen my in my my uh, audio you just prepare yourself second if we will talk about red blue it is iron gray luster it is odorless non poisonous insoluble in water it is highly ignition ignition already we did chemically it is much less reactive than the white phosphorus if we will talk about white black phosphorus black, black phosphorus always form in two that is alpha black phosphorus and beta black phosphorus there is alpha black phosphorus can be formed from the red phosphorus if it is heated on 203 kelvin and the beta phosphorus can be obtained from white phosphorus when it will be uh, heat at 473 kelvin okay if it doesn't burn in air up to 673 kelvin so this is the structure of white phosphorus and this is the structure of red phosphorus so one major important question is coming sometime in examination that is write the basic difference between red phosphorus and uh, white phosphorus or compare the white phosphorus red phosphorus on the basis of their structure okay so then you have to draw this and this so next is uses of phosphorus so white phosphorus is used in some explosive including rockets this caused an uproar be, you know, because of safety concern and red phosphorus is used in the matchstick uh, that is the you can see the texture of match head next to the matches it is used in fertilizer also is in the form of dna and in the form of some fertilizer also so this is all about the allotropy of phosphorus now the major compounds of phosphorus is phosphine phosphohalide oxo acid of phosphorus so we will talk about phosphine phosphine is ph3 it is very toxic gas and i can say it is a uh, uh, having garlic type of odor when inhaled it can cause restless followed by tr tremors fatigueness drowsiness nausea and often severe gastric pain also in case uh, it may result coma also okay so it is the basic properties of phosphine preparation if you will say so phosphine can readily prepared by reacting calcium or ammonia so you can see calcium phosphide will react and it will give phosphine ph3 or in case of aluminium phosphorus it will give phosphine on a large scale ph3 is obtained by action of sodium hydroxide on water when we are talking about reaction of phosphine reaction of phosphine so phosphine can react with chlorine and it will form pen phospho pentachloride with 3 hcl with copper sulfate it will give copperic forest uh, phosphoric and h2so4 reaction with mercury chloride it will give mercuric phosphorus and it means that phosphorus phosphine is reacting with uh, all kind of compound and giving phosphide so structure and property on the uses of phosphine if you say first properties it is colorless gas with rotten fish smell highly poisonous it explode in contact with the traces of oxidizing agent like hno3 it form exposure it is highly soluble slightly soluble in water it is weakly waste when phosphine will react with hbr it will form phosphide halide okay if you will talk about uses it is used in home signal this is home signal you can see and it is also used in smoke screen so dear students just go through this video just to uh, see that how home signal is working and how phosphine is help the uh, that uh, during the seas to uh, just give the carefully signal. observe the process how home signal is produced and how it is used home signal this serves as a signal to the approaching ships the containers which have a perforated bottom and a hole at the top are filled with calcium phosphide and calcium carbide these are thrown into the sea water enters the container through the bottom and reacts with calcium carbide and calcium phosphide to give acetylene and phosphine phosphine gets ignited spontaneously as it comes in contact with air and also ignites acetylene thus a bright red flame is produced 
which is accompanied by a huge smoke due to the burning of phosphine. This serves as a signal to the so, structure of phosphine. It is like a ammonia P phosphorus F one lone pair with three bond pair of hydrogen with bond angle ninety three point five degree and bond order one point forty. When we are going to talk about the structure of phosphine or ammonia, if I'll talk about phosphine, this is the structure of phosphine. This is the model of structure of phosphine. So, dear students, just pay attention and see. This is yellow ball is. phosphorus total it has 1 2 3 4 5 electrons in which three chlorine when we are going to attach three three hydrogens phosphine 1 2 3 hydrogen when we are going to uh, fix ya yeah, bond three hydrogen with one phosphorus so these are the three hydrogen that is bonded with one phosphorus but this is the lone pair this i am representing lone pair so like this way this is the three dimensional structure of phosphine okay and penta uh, you can say the phosphorus trichloride also pcl3 also in place of hydrogen now cl3 so this can be structure of pcl3 also so these two structures the model is this okay two i am strong we will talk about phosphorus halide now third compound is phosphorus halide pcl3 and pcl5 preparation of pcl3 is what it is can be prepared with the help of red phosphorus simply when we are going to uh, heat white phosphorus not red sorry with the help of six chlorine molecule it will give us four phospho trichloride it is also obtained by the action of thionyl chloride if we will react white phosphorus with thionyl chloride socl2 is thionyl chloride it will give us four molecule of penta uh, phospho chloride so what is the reaction uh, what is the difference between preparation and properties very simple preparation in preparation product side that will Uh, we get which we are going to prepare suppose we are preparing pcl5 so it will be in product side and from where so it means that the preparation of pcl3 pcl5 is the property of white phosphorus where pcl3 5 also can be prepared by passing excess of chlorine gas over white phosphorus which will give us pcl5 similar way with the next so properties uh, this is the preparation now the properties if you see the properties so dear students okay sorry we will talk about the properties so in properties now you can see this is the preparation now in properties you will see the pcl3 is on reactant side in preparation pcl3 is product side now in properties pcl3 is preparation side so it mean that the properties of pcl3 is it react with water can give us uh, phospho oxide ox oxo acid of phosphorus acid pcl3 will react with chlorine will give us penta phospho pentachloride similar way phospho pentachloride will react with water will give us pocl3 plus 2 hcl so dear students it is very simple reactions you can go through and you can balance it next is structure of pcl3 and pcl5 which is very important if you will talk about the structure of pcl3 this is the structure of pcl3 so it is like a tetrahedral where p is having lone pair And three bond pair with chlorine with one hundred one degree Celsius. It is similar like phosphine, so it is pyramidal shape. One lone pair, three bond pair. Bond angle is one hundred four, and hybridization is sp three. Whereas PCl five is trigonal pyramidal. This is trigonal trigonal by pyramidal. Okay, this shape and zero lone pair, five bond pair. Bond length axial. This is axial bond length. These are axial bond length, which is larger than the equatorial bond length. Okay, so Bond length of axial is two forty part meter, whereas bond length of equatorial is two hundred two part meter. So this is the general structure of PCl five. So both the structure is very important in examination point of view. So there are structure of oxo acids of phosphorus. So there are few oxo acids. So but we need to differentiate it on the basis of pyro, hypo, and ortho. So first we will take hypo. Hypo phosphorus is those phosphorus acid which is giving H three PO two H three PO two PO three H three PO four. Okay, so you can see hypophosphorus is dear students. Question: What kind of question is coming in exam that need to be understand? The question that is coming in exam is simply draw the hypophosphorus acid. It means that that time you should know what is the hypophosphorus formula and what is the hypophosphorus structure. It is very simple to draw. I am going to explain one suppose uh, structure is H three PO two. 
so you need to see which compound we are studying nowadays that is phosphorus so you will write phosphorus in the center now you should know the outermost uh, mean number of electrons in outermost shell so you know five electrons are there in outermost shell one two three four five okay now you should know how many oxygen is there and how many hydrogen is there it means that uh, total three hydrogen and two oxygen is there so this is lone pair so it means that double double bond will be there always with sulfur and oxygen and phosphorus between phosphorus oxygen sulfur oxygen carbon oxygen there is double bond so when there is a double bond and how many ox uh, uh, electron left three electron left so it means three bond pair three bond pair one h is this side and h is this side one will remain oh so in this way there are total two o in this two o two o oxygen one and two and there is three hydrogen one two three so like this way this is the structure of hypophosphorus acid so in this way you have to draw first you need to first step is find out the central phosphorus central phosphorus central phosphorus central phosphorus central phosphorus central phosphorus okay in everything in every uh, compound you can see central phosphorus how many oxygen is there how many hydrogen is there that depend upon that then oxygen is always making with phosphorus double bond oxygen always making between oxygen and phosphorus always double bond between ox phosphorus and hydrogen always single bond between phosphorus and oh always single bond okay in this way you can num count number of bond if phosphorus have five electron in outermost shell more than five bond cannot be there more than five electron cannot be shared okay so there is one lone pair three bond pair it will become total five so this is what now and second question is coming similar way first question is to i told you draw the structure of hypophosphorus acid at that time you should know the formula you should know the structure second will come what is the basicity of phosphorus so it is written mono basic mono basic tetra basic tri basic what is this mono basic number of oh is the basic so if it is one here to mono basic in this case there are two to di basic it is somewhere wrong this is wrong i think and uh, one two three four there are four to tetra basic here are three hydroxide tri basic similar way number of oh is the number of basicity so this is the question when once you know the correct diagram correct structure you can write the correct basic basicity also one more is coming that is the oxidation state so you see the oxidation state of this p is one how so h3 po2 suppose so oxidation state of this you need to find out how minus 1 minus 2 so minus 3 it become plus 3 okay 3 multiply 1 plus 3 plus x minus 2 to the 4 so you can see x is becoming 4 minus 3 that is x is equal to plus 1 that's why the basicity of h3po2 is basically this already you have done in last year also now we need to understand it in the uh, in the with the help of this table here all the Phosphorus, oxo acid of phosphorus has given hypophosphorus, orthophosphorus, pyrophosphorus, hypophosphorus, orthophosphorus, pyrosulfuric acid, uh, phosphoric acid, metaphosphoric acid. Dear student, you need to find out when word use hypo, when word use ortho. So you see, in case of PO2, it is used hypo. In case of PO3, it is used ortho. Okay, similar way in case of H4P2O5, it is used pyro. Okay, so this is the oxidation state of this. You can learn this also oxidation state you can find out now it is your homework calculate the oxidation state of these compounds as you have done last year also in redox reaction chapter calculate the oxidation state of these all formula it should be this much okay answer as given to you and uh, number of characteristics bond is there this is also when from structure and preparation is when this prep these preparations also once go through okay sometimes um, basically mostly they are asking only the structure not the preparation but still you can do so here i am going to differentiate oxo acid of phosphorus oxo acid of phosphorus in hypophosphorus is uh, these three oxo acid pyro pyro word is this so i have differentiated c hypo and ortho separately pyro separately hypo and polymata separately so this is all about for today do enough practice of this structure otherwise it will create quick problem one more when you will come live that time i am trying to explain you this uh, 
structures okay so conclusion is what group 15 we have done compounds of phosphorus we did in this particular presentation in which allotropy of phosphorus there are white white phosphorus red phosphorus black phosphorus we did phosphine in which structure of phosphine and properties of phosphine were important halides of phosphorus we did comparison of pcl3 with pcl5 oxo acid we did just now structure basicity and oxidation state so this is all about for today hope so you understood thanks for watching this video and uh, have a nice day take care yourself stay home stay safe now it's my appeal dear students right now now you need to be take more precaution than the earlier please don't go outside your room don't go out of your family don't ask your family whenever they are going to just take care all the precautionary measures because you know that the manali's condition is also going to be becoming burst very soon okay so till my next video please 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 keep enjoying these digital classes now it's my humble request from each and every student you all will watch this video you will make this 20 minute video within 2 or 3 minutes your small crispy videos summary of this presentation and do send your video i will mark only those i am giving marks to those student those who are sending me uh, videos okay so please it is going to be recorded and this is your test so now i found that most of the student they are taking not taking seriously they are not watching these videos through youtube channel also they are not giving comment they are not even uh, showing that they have seen or not so it is my appeal only those student are going to be marked present those who are watching from youtube channel okay now attendance i am making like this so theek hai i think uh, you have understood everything so take care now Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.